Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the opening reaction and this is a visual novel opening reaction. Tsukihime remakes Steel Root. Uh, I'm not sure if her name is pronounced like that. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. You know, uh, opening and this is, I'm guessing this is the second opening that Tsukihime remake has made. Uh, the first one being uh, focused on Arshwet again. I'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong and i reacted to that uh, before uh, the link will be in the description box if you want to check it out you know i kind of reacted to that before and uh, yeah and another thing from the title you have must have seen i was a visual novel player i played the Tsukihime completely i loved it and me being a type moon fanboy yeah i love everything type moon um i definitely had to check this out and like obviously like react to it so i'm here i'm going to react to this opening and uh, obviously i'm going to first react to it then i'm going to talk a little bit about it and um, yeah and i'll be linking down the original video in the description box uh, you can go check it out if you have not seen the original video so let's start uh, the reaction first i'll be reacting to it first then i'm going to talk all about my impressions and all the other stuff that i want to say and you know talk about my visual novel experience all like you know everything sukim i'm going to talk a little bit about so first Let's check out the reaction. So, all right. So here we go. Sukihime uh, opening two. I'm guessing Sukihime remake opening two. Start. All right. Okay. It starts in a. Okay, UFO table, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The first opening was also UFO table and. I can recognize this animation. Riona, isn't it? Again! The first opening was also Riona, wasn't it? Oh my god. Wow, this looks beautiful. The animation, my god, what is this? Oh my god. Whoa, who the... This is cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, Shiki. Oh my God, Shiki. His eyes. What? Oh boy. And seal. Wow. The visuals. Wait, is this is this vision novel going to have like separate opening for the separate heroines? That would be amazing. Like, <laughs> okay. Um. So. I might be wrong, but I think it's going to have like separate openings for every heroine that we're going to have. And as far as I can remember, Tsukihime has five heroines. Um, yeah, five. Uh, obviously, Arsuet, um, Seal, uh, the, the, the sister, I forgot her name. Mm, the two maids, I also forgot their name. You know, it's been a long while I've watched, uh, I've, I've read Tsukihime and yeah. So, all right, that was the opening and my god like i would have loved if sukime actually got an anime adaptation you know like done by ufo table like just look at this my god <laughs> this is just amazing and uh, like okay so this opening um first i'm going to talk about the opening then i'm going to talk uh about something else about sukime and everything so I already kind of talked a few things about Tsukime in the previous video that I reacted to, uh, Tsukime's opening. Uh, as I said, I'll be linking it in the description box, you can check it out if you want to. And uh, I talked a lot about Tsukime then, and I also, you know, I'm going to talk about Tsukime here as well. But first, let's see the opening. Okay, so... Now, one thing I want to tell here, um, as I said, it's been quite a while, like, I've played Tsukime and I only played Tsukime once. So most of the things I don't remember, 
like, you know, like if I like start to the remake, like reading the remake again after it comes out, it'll be like a completely new experience for me. I only know, remember the girls and that's just it. Like nothing else. And like mem my memory might get refreshed if I start again, like things will start coming back. But otherwise, like my memory is quite hazy. So I remember almost nothing. You no, know? one thing uh, I was a little bit surprised about is where is that scene? Okay, first of all, I remember this guy. Yeah, I think so. I also remember her, I think. I don't remember this girl. Who is this? I forgot completely. Yeah, I, I have no memory of her. Like obviously, these two are the, are the maids. We know them very well. They're, they're the main heroines. Okay, this is the sister. Who is this? Like, who is this lady? I don't think I've seen her in the visual novel. Like, otherwise, I would have remembered. <laughs> like, you know, her. just look at her. Like, I, I doubt I would have forgotten her. But I don't remember. Like, are these like some new additions that the remake is going to have or something? Because I think I remember in the previous video that I reacted to. Uh, it was quite like eight or seven or eight months ago. I reacted to the first opening. Um, I think in the comment section, someone said something like uh, one of the enemies was not in the original novel, no visual novel. It's like probably some kind of a new addition that that's a remake is going to have. So if that's the case, then I'm guessing these, uh, like especially this character here, maybe she is like an additional character that we never had in the visual novel because I don't remember her at all. Like, is my memory that bad? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. But anyways, um, okay. Like as always, the animations are beautiful and uh, okay i love actually seeing shiki fight like visual novels usually like you know kind of give you give you the immersion but it's like it's an, an another experience to actually see everything animated so this is like amazing like, you know like the vis as i said visual novel gives you the immersion like you, you feel like you you are in that place the the airy music and everything and you kind of like you know reading line by line what's happening and kind of imagining it in within yourself that's like a different type of an enjoyment that never comes with watching an anime and the details that the visual novel goes through the atmosphere that it makes by just some lines on the basic like you know screen you know like it's, it's phenomenal like I, like especially Typh moon visual novels just make you feel like you are reliving that moment and not only Typh moon vis uh, visual novels um uh ryukishi 07s if you have read uh higurashi and umineko you no know? uh, ryukishi 07s visual novels are also another one of phenomenal works which like make you feel as if you are reliving the moment when you're reading the stuff the music and everything like it's just amazing like in the visual novel world i would always like you know like rec like if people like ask me some uh, like recommendation i'll always tell them like just read higurashi read umineko read the type moon like you know like sukihime uh, fate stay night and a few other uh, examples as well for example uh, devil on the g-string g senjo no mao another phenomenal visual novel Grisaiano Kajitsu, Grisaiano Make You, Grisaiano uh, Rakuen, the three, the trilogy of the Grisaia series, phenomenal, and a few other as well. Like these are just like top tier novels, and like Tsukihime is definitely one of them. Tsukihime, Fate Stay Night, and I would have loved to read uh, Mahoskai no Yoru. Unfortunately, it's not translated yet, but the front fan translation is very close to its end, so it might end very soon. Uh, even if not in this year, probably the next year we're probably going to get the fully translated thing. And I, I would like, I'm, I'm waiting for that for so long. Mount Sky no Yoru. But anyways, okay, I kind of went on a tangent. But yeah, so as I was saying, like visual novels kind of make you feel that thing. But there's also another like, other experience that you get when you see these characters who you've always imagined fighting in your mind while we were reading the, you know, visual novel. Like when you see them actually fighting in animated form, that's like another type of an, what do you call it, like enjoyment that you get. And I love seeing Shiki actually fight here because in the novel, obviously everything was from Shiki's perspective in a way. So whenever he fought and everything, we only read him and we didn't even get his character sprite that much. 
but here like you know we can see that she is actually fighting and you know obviously with his mystic eyes and like you know the the line of deaths i think that's what they were called i forgot you know so that thing and yeah we can see him fight and it's, it's, it looks just amazing and um for a moment there i actually forgot <laughs> that this is actually a remake visual novel this is not an anime because <laughs> the opening <laughs> It made you so hyped like for a moment there I really forgot that this is actually a visual novel opening not an anime so as I that's why I said like you know I would love to see a actual adaptation of the uh, Asukihime franchise like like type like you know type moon face day knife eight granddaughter is very popular and it's quite mainstream now because when I read uh, uh, like, you know face day night people barely even knew it you know, I think uh, like Unlimited Blood, uh, Blade Works, I think didn't release at that moment. Only the Fate Root was out or something. And it was not that good, the Fate Root adaptation. But after Unlimited Blade Works came out and like, everything, everyone, like it started increasing the popularity of the Fate series. And uh, yeah, like, you know, like that's why I'm hoping in the future we might get some, uh, not only Fate franchise adaptations, maybe some other type moon franchise adaptations like Tsukihime, Masukai no Yoru, um, Kano Kuyakai already has a like you know has the movies like that's already there and maybe some other fate uh, like, you know uh, related uh, anime novels for example uh, I would love fate strange fake, a fake adaptation that's another one in my list if I like, ever want it to be to be adapted fate strange fake uh, strange fake and a lot of others as well, uh, Koha Ace, you know, uh, the Fate Red Line. I also want, like, and I would have loved if it gets an adaptation as well. And yeah, I really hope we get more stuff like this. And I'm really very excited for this uh, remake. Okay, let me check out uh, if it got a release date or something. Like, when previous, uh, previously, when I checked out the first opening, I think it didn't give a proper um, uh, what was that a proper date it was just yeah I cannot find it where is it mm, piece of blue glass okay this one isn't it yeah oh it has already released oh I didn't realize that wait a minute in Japan, it has already released. Oh, really? Oh, it released on the 26th of August. The Japanese version. Oh, the English version is being translated. Just a sec. Wait a minute. Oh, Hollow Moon is already translating it. Okay, the Hollow Moon, the same people who are translating Mahotsukai no Yoru. Okay, like it's not an official translation, I know that, but still. Uh, okay, just a sec. So there's no no date for the patch, but it is going to come out in the future. Hopefully, quick quicker than I think, hope for. And uh, if it gets an official translation, that's even better. But I don't think it's going to get one. Not now, at least. Not currently. Maybe in the future sometime. But I don't know. Uh, like at least we're getting an unofficial translation, you know. Like that's just, you know, I'll wait for it. I'm guessing they'll go, they're going to like start fully translating this uh, after they uh, complete translating Mahotsukai no Yoru. So I'm looking forward to that, like Mahotsukai no Yoru and this one as well. So, okay. Um, and f as far as I can see here, I think this has like two roots, most probably like the seal root and uh, the and um Arshad root yeah the, the two main characters Arshad and seal the other main characters the other heroines which is which are hisui kohaku and uh, uh, who's the other girl uh tono Aki akiha these three girls who were also the main heroines in the original visual novel i'm guessing they're going to get some uh future you know future uh remakes just like this all right so, excuse me. Yeah, 
so that was the opening it's, it's fantastic obviously riona's voice um i i love listening to riona you know riona songs um imer songs what else like all the like you know like the, these two are like one of my favorites and this like the song is sung by riona so fantastic uh, and riona and obviously the animation studio is um ufo table i think so from the animation i could probably tell that this is ufo table and uh, yeah that was it i think so uh, as far as from the uh, what do you call it from the database uh, i can see that there are a really a few characters who i don't think i have yeah i have seen in the original novel for example this girl i think noel her name is the, the girl that i was saying in the opening you know uh, who i said that i don't remember her in the class uh, you know in the hallway standing i think her name is noel i'm i'm checking out the uh, vndb the visual novel database you know like there's all the the names of the characters are here i don't think i have ever seen her in the original novel so i'm guessing these are like a few new additions and uh, where's the other girl that i saw i don't know i i can't find the other girl and then there's this another guy i think yeah mario gallo bestino i don't think he was also in the uh, original novel i might be wrong though but i don't know like uh, as i said like you know like my memory is quite uh, muddy because it's been a while actually that i played the game so i might be completely wrong so but anyways yeah so yeah that was that was it so yeah guys um <laughs> that was this opening and it was uh, fantastic as i said like you know uh i really would love uh what can i say it to get translated quicker <laughs> but you know i'm you know i'm quite accustomed to waiting because i've been waiting for mouse kai no yoru for so long and it still hasn't completed translation so i can wait because obviously like this these are top tier visual novels and yeah like just just like you know the what do you call it the prospect of playing them once like you know when they come out in the future in itself is enough for me to just keep waiting for this <laughs> like someday i'll be able to play that in itself is just enough for me to actually you know wait for this and keep patience and uh, yeah so yeah guys that was it guys thank you guys for watching and uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and i put out like you know fgo videos and like you know stuff like this type moon stuff and uh, like you know mainly fade stuff now and i i think i, I plan on uh, like starting uh, visual novel playthroughs as well when uh, sukihime or mouse kai no yoru will come out i i, I plan on actually playing that on uh, what do you call it on uh, make my I mean, I mean make videos on it make gameplay videos on me playing that so i plan on doing that so in the future maybe i'll like you know like start doing those as well like type moon stuff and uh, yeah so be sure to subscribe if you're interested in these type of stuff and comment down below what's your opinion on this uh, opening and i loved it i loved the previous opening as well like you know both of them were your table animated both of them were sung by riona both of them are perfect and it's just so great so yeah so tell me your opinions and uh, if you have played the original novel or not or you're excited to play this one uh, whichever so yeah and uh, yeah that was it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day